Hi boys and girls, I have another March Madness book for you here. This is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. It's written by Judith Viorst and it's illustrated by Ray Cruz. And Alex has a really bad day. This book was written in 1972. That was a really, really long time ago. All right, are you ready? Here we go. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. By the way, these pictures are all in black and white. Um, looks like they're um, with pen. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, the only thing I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool with Mrs. Gibbons, she let Becky have the seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I didn't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell by the way it was going, it was going to be a very terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said that I sang too loud. At counting time, she said that I left out number 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. And he said Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream pot falls off the cone and lands in Australia. I wonder if Alexander really means that. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in a dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Hmm. Has anyone ever had a day like that? Well, it's going to get worse. That's what it was because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Yeah, next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then, when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And... While I was punching Nick for saying I was a crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I'm having a terrible... Horrible, 
no good, very bad day. I told everyone and no one answered me. Poor Alexander. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy a plain old pair of white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could be except for my elbow. He said, don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. And I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. Poor Alexander. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow. He said that I could keep. And then the Mickey Mouse light nightlight burnt out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed it.